disjunctive syllogism. Either A or B, not A, therefore B. The proposition A or B has to be that either A or B is true. In other words, one of these must be true for this to be a valid form of DS. Either Bob has measles or Bob has chickenpox. You know at least one of the following propositions is true. One could be false, but both can't be. If the disjunction either Bob has measles or chickenpox is really true, at least one must be true. In other words, if neither one is true, then it is not a true disjunctive syllogism. DS is a valid form of argument because of the meaning of either or. In any disjunction, at least one of the disjuncts must be true. If both are false, it can't be a true disjunction. In other words, either the light switch is on or off. If the light switches some other position, then it's not a disjunction in the first place. In the case of Bob, if we say that he has measles, then he does not have chickenpox. And if we say that he has chickenpox, then he does not have measles. He cannot have neither one in this case. If he has neither measles nor chickenpox, then it wasn't a true disjunctive statement in the first place. Either you're subscribed to me, or you're not. See you next time.